guys, it's Run From Makeup by Ren Ren, and if you want to see my Eve Pearl haul, stay tuned for more. Hey guys, so I'm back with another video, and I've been meaning to film this one for a while, but um, it's going to be another haul video, and it makes sense for me to film it now because I just got some new stuff from the line, and I'm combining it with some stuff that I had gotten a couple months ago. Um, actually, probably like in December of 2009, but I'm going to show you what I got really quick. So, this is all Eve Pearl Cosmetics, and... Eve Pearl is an amazing makeup artist. Um, I've done a lot of videos featuring her stuff, so if you look through my videos, you'll see a bunch of Eve Pearl foundation, contouring, you know, makeovers and all that stuff. And I use it, her stuff in my um, personal kit daily as well as in my professional kit. So let's jump right in. Eve Pearl, luckily, she has so many um, promotions on her website, so I usually wait till she has like a 40% off or... 50% off. She did that for like her one year anniversary and recently she even had a sale um, of her stuff on um, Oatlook.com um, H-A-U-T-E-L-O-O-K.com which is like a retailer of um, designer items at really discounted prices. So that's when I bought most of this stuff. Um, I'm going to go through some of the things really quick for you and I'm going to put them on to show you. Um, I picked this um, one of her concealers out this is the Sama Concealer and Tan, and here it is right here. I use the medium most of the time, but I got the tan while it was on sale because um, I figured that when I go, when my skin gets darker in the summer, which it always does, I wanted to try tan out because it was a little bit darker than the medium, but the medium works really good too. That's what I use most of the time. So I guess I'm going to, let me go ahead and put this tan on to show you right now. So I just use this as an under eye circle concealer. It's still actually, actually it is still pretty good. This is, um, the Sama concealer is definitely one of the best, um, under eye concealer correctors, in my opinion, that is out on the market. So as you can see, the big difference, right? I just like to use my finger to apply, because this is my own personal concealer love this stuff. This stuff is truly amazing and it's very smooth. It's compar comparable to the Bobbi Brown correctors. Um, I also picked up the Salmon Concealer Medium, which I said I would use. I got my friend Melissa hooked on this stuff, so I got her the medium one, which was on sale. Um, she's This is her second one, too, so she really loves it just as much as I did. So that's for Melissa. She's a little bit lighter than me. Um, she's probably about an NC 30. Mm -hmm. 35 NC40 and I'm an NC42, 43, but medium works on both of us. Um, so those are those two. And I got another thing of um, Eve Pro concealers. I got the Eve Pro Magic Salmon Concealer Trio. And this is great for um, professional makeup artists. It has light, medium, and dark. So I keep this in my kit. As you can see, I've used it a couple of times. I just scoop out product with my um, palette knife. And then I put it on a palette, and that's how I apply this on other people. I don't dip brushes or fingers into any kind of cream product. But light, medium, dark has worked on so many ranges of skin tones. There's not a tan in here, but you can definitely mix light and medium or medium dark to get the different other ranges. And I've used this on several clients, and it's been really great. I love how it has a clear top. I mean, it just makes things so much easier to find in my kit. So I definitely recommend this if you are a... Um, if you are a freelance artist. Um, she's also going to be at the upcoming makeup shows in IMAT, so if you want to check those out, you can also probably get her stuff at a good deal. Um, I also picked up the um, Anti-Shine Mattifying Gel in medium slash dark. I have a light slash medium, but I wanted to get medium slash dark for um, myself, um, just because I'm, I'm, I am considered tan. And it, on the finger, it looks like this. It's brown looking. But on myself, it blends right in. And I'm just putting it on the spots that are oily. And it dries to a nice matte finish. It's kind of like MAC Matte, if you want to compare it to a product. But it's got a little bit of color to it. 
It works really good. I've used um, the other one on brides before as like an oily touch up because um, sometimes you want a little bit extra um, control over the T zone or if like maybe even apply this after makeup application it works just as good. Um, so that's that. Um, another thing I got is the Eve Pearl Bronzing Highlighter Trio. And I was actually sent this by Eve Pearl. The rest of the stuff I bought, I was sent this and this lip gloss. It's like, um, it's kind of like, um, when I bought stuff, um, I've reviewed a lot of her stuff in the past and she is a huge fan of blogging and YouTubing to kind of promote her business. So she sent me these as thank yous, which was very generous of her. So here we have the bronzing highlighter trio, one of her newer products. So she has the blushes, the trios, but this is um, a highlighter, um, a blush, and a bronzer. So together they make a totally gorgeous color. I'm going to put that on for you guys um, in a second. But I definitely recommend this if um, you want something like that's great for highlighting your face while adding color. This is a great product. And I love how it's got the three because you can wear them individually or together. Kind of like the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Bricks. But it gives the same finish also as the MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes. And this lip gloss she sent me is the color Climax. And I was surprised because I didn't realize that I was going to like this color so much because it just kind of looks like a mauve bronzy tone. But I actually got compliments when I wore this from my brother of all people. <laughs> so I wore this a lot when I went on my cruise. But I like, it's a squeezy. And I'll put the color on. It's a very high shine. And it's got a great mint. It actually tastes like mint and it smells like mint. A lot of times things don't have a taste to them, but this one does. You have to put a little bit of kind of pressure to get the product. But I do like how it's a slant tip. And it's a great shine on it. It's a really nice color. See that? Really, really nice. Really, I'm surprised at how much I actually like this color. It was a really great color choice. Um, so those are the two that she actually gifted me. And let me finish off the rest of the stuff I bought on my own. I am at the Outlook sale. I picked up three Eve Pearl Lash Glues. They were super cheap. They were only like $2 after the sale. Because it was like 40 to 60% off. And regular lash glue, the Ardol Lash Glue in Dark, which I usually use, which I'm running out of, is like 6 bucks regularly. And this stuff was only 2 bucks, so I picked up three. So it's really, really good stuff. Um, I like how it's a dark lash glue. That's what I mainly use um, is a dark glue because it dries matte. As you can see, it looks gray, but when it dries, it dries black. Since most of the time, you have black mascara, black liner, so it really blends, and it blends matte, like I said, because the clear lash glues often dry clear, but they have a shiny finish, so you can totally see them, but these you can't. So I got three of those, one for me and two for my kit. I go through a lot of lash glue since I use lashes on myself all the time. Um, the only thing that was weird though, I think like this one smells okay, but one of them smells kind of weird. Like it's almost um, old because it smells like fish. So um, I think probably just because I got a really old one, which kind of sucks, but we'll see. Um, but the rest of them smelled okay. Um, I know that... Um, that happened to me when I bought from a wholesale company. I ordered like a dozen eyelash glues and they all smelled so fishy and horrible that I had to throw them all out. So I hope I don't have to throw one of these out. But at least the two of them are fine. Um, and the last thing I picked up was the Eve Pearl Razor. And I'm so glad I got this because um, it's um, a lot better than the drugstore ones I bought. Let me show you the drugstore one I got. So when you're doing um, your eyebrows or client's eyebrows, I actually kind of um, don't really, I don't use um, the razor on myself. I usually may use it on clients. But for, here's the drugstore version that you can buy at like Walmart, which you use to clean up eyebrow hair. And here's the Eve Pro version. Do you see the difference? It's the twice the size as the um, drugstore version. And it's so convenient because it closes up like this. So it's super tiny. I really like that and you can tell it's got a nice blade on it. So if you don't want to pluck clients eyebrows you can always do the razor method which Eve Pearl has a lot of videos on. She's, how she's done that with a lot of people she's made over. 
So that's that. And one last thing which I forgot to mention actually. Okay, the last new product that I got is the medium dual press powder. And here it is right here. And she has the dual foundations which are part of her original product line. But she also came up with the powders which I think is an excellent idea. Because I'm really a believer that um, in my own kit and in my professional kit to have colored powders because they can do so much. They can change a, change a foundation that's too light or dark. They can use it to be contour as, or highlight. And um, this one is really good because it has also the two colors, light and a lighter and a darker. So I was watching one of Eve Pearl's videos and she has this um, video on how to do like two minute foundation and she uses these pressed powders and what you do is you just take a um, brush here I'm just using my MAC 109 and then you wet it this is just Evian water spray or you can use your fix plus or regular water water in a, in a squirt thing and then you just go back and forth and then you just I'm mixing both of them and then it gives me like a foundation finish so and it doesn't mess up like when you do this like some you can't do this to some powders because it like um, will mess up the finish but it works really good and gives you a nice good coverage so I think I might upgrade to the tan one though for the summer now that I got the powder foundation on I'm going to use the bronzer highlighter trio and there are different ways to use it. You can apply it either individually, so you can take the bronzer by itself and get it on the outer edges of your face. It's kind of like a contour going on and it's a nice shade. It's not super shimmery and it's got, um, this doesn't have too much red which some bronzers have. So you can use this to totally warm up your complexion. Or you can, and then you can do the blush individually if you want. Just take it and get just the pink. Put it on your cheeks. And then you can even get the light pink highlighter by itself and put it on the top of your cheekbones and it gives a nice little glow. See how my skin looks better already? I wasn't making wearing makeup before. it. And then what you could do is you could take all three and get a nice little mix and pop it right on your cheeks. So I showed you, you could do it individually or together. I kind of just like doing it together though because it saves time. So that's the that looks like. So that's my Eve Pearl haul. Um, like I said, I bought most of the stuff, but thank you to Eve Pearl um, and the Eve Pearl team for sending me those gifts. Very sweet of you guys. Um, I definitely recommend checking out her line. Really quality, high quality stuff for yourself and for your kit. Um, you can find them at evepearl.com or you can go to the trade shows. She's always at all the trade shows. You can go to um, just kind of keep an eye out for her on like the sites like Outlook.com. Um, and that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed my haul. Check out my blog, MakeupByRunRun.com, for a full entry with pictures and all that other fun stuff. And until next time, have a great night. Ciao, Bellas.